So this is a sponge. This is a, an actual animal. And the body structure is actually composed of glass. And so all of these projections that you're seeing are essentially sort of living silicon oxide extensions of this animal. It's almost like it's out of science fiction. It certainly looks like it's from out of science fiction. So you got two sponges that show completely different morphologies. They're both glass sponges. The perinomatids in general tend to be very massive. So in some cases, you can see these things that look like Jabba the Hutt down there. They're really that quite big. All of those fibers that connected to the bottom, those are reminiscent of fiber optic cable. They look very much like it, and they feel very much like it in texture, including if you accidentally pick one up, they can give you splinters. There have been some engineering studies of some of the giant spicules of deep-sea glass sponges, and they've found that they can transmit light better than human-generated fiber optic cable. Wow, better than. That's amazing. That's pretty amazing. Muppet. <laughs> this is why sometimes I think these sponges, um, when you come up against something like this, you think you're on a different planet. Just so strange. Wow. It goes on and on, too. Every time we, we do these dives, all I can think about is, you know, this is the type of experience someone would have if they found, like, life on another planet. Oh, you, want to see? you know, everything's so alien to, at least for me. Even though I've been doing it for five years, it's still like I'm on another planet when we're down here. Yeah, and it's definitely the same for me as well, Pilot, because even though I work on these sponges, a scene like this is just extraordinary.